Huh? There's a new bulletin board here. And it has pictures of fungi on it. If it's as dangerous as it sounds, at least we'll be there to stop things from getting too out of control. Welcome, contestants, to the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament. I am Kautilya, a senior Amorta researcher and the organizer of today's tournament. I'm sure you're probably all very intrigued by the idea of fighting fungi and excited at the prospect of our amazing prizes. But at the same time, you may well have some concerns about the safety of this tournament. Worry not, the wisdom orb we've developed exclusively for this event makes use of Amorta's most advanced intellectual boost technology. It is absolutely reliable and safe. So please cast your reservations aside and enter the tournament with confidence. Also, it gives me great pleasure to announce that this event is sponsored by Mr. Elhingen, a renowned businessman from Fontaine who has generously provided a grand total of 60 million mora for our prize fund. And if anyone is able to prove themselves capable of carrying out Mr. Elhingen's philosophy by passing the ultimate trial, he will be willing to give them his entire fortune. The only other condition is that the winner must agree to carry on Mr. Elhingen's legacy by hosting the Nilutpala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament in the future. Whoa! Paimon can't believe that rich guy threw 60 million mora at this event! Just like that! And what was all that about inheriting his entire fortune if you promised to keep his beast taming tournament going? Also, hosted by an academia scholar, huh? Oh, pretty official. I uh, might be a little inappropriate if we just barged in and tried to shut it down. So, um, why don't we enter the tournament and see if this wisdom orb thingy actually works? Ah, no, that's not it. It's just, uh, now that everything in Sumeru has finally settled down, don't you think it'd be a little unfair to Nahida if we keep picking trouble with the Academia? And he sounded really confident. Paimon's curious about how this mysterious fungi taming device works. Although they've caused this trouble in the past, the fungi aren't just aggressive monsters, right? They're more like wild animals with bad tempers. Since there's no longer any safety concerns, we don't need to worry. Maybe we can even try becoming friends with the fungi. Paimon thinks that would be fun. Besides, if we do well in the tournament, we'll be able to earn some extra mora. There are basically no drawbacks. Yep, that's the way we roll. Looks like we sign up over there. Come on, let's grab a wisdom orb and enter the tournament. Huh? Looks like the people ahead of us are still signing up. Let's wait our turn. Golden Comet and Silver Companion. So, you're competing too? Huh? You know us? But, what's with those names? We've never heard them before. You're a tough duo if the posters are to be believed. Some mercenaries who managed to escape from you painted your portraits, warning others to avoid messing with you at all costs. Uh, Paimon doesn't know whether to be flattered or to try and explain that we aren't as scary as the rumors suggest. Unfortunately, the rules of this tournament state that beast tamers aren't allowed to use their weapons, or even fight each other directly. Your impeccable combat skills won't be any use to you here. The tournament is about capturing fungi, training them, and commanding them in combat. 
There's no way of knowing whether commanding fungi is a skill you'll be able to master in time. That's true. We've never captured a fungus before and wouldn't know anything about how to get them to fight. Wait a second! You don't look like a staff member! What are you lecturing us for? Who are you anyway? The name's Sunia. I used to work for the Aramites, taming grumpy sumpter beasts. Ended up with a reputation for being a beast tamer, so they got me involved with testing the Wisdom Orb early on. Anyway, my name ain't worth remembering. I'm just an illiterate nobody. All I'm good for is doing odd jobs for Aramite mercs. Just think of me as another contestant. I do have a lot of experience taming beasts, though. Want me to teach you? You guys are worth me getting to know, as allies or opponents. Because either way, you can get rid of some obstacles for me in this competition. Of course, I'd prefer allies if possible. Well, that was blank, but also quite honest. It's definitely better to have an expert teach us than figure everything out on our own, right? Uh, what do you think? Should we take her up on her offer? All right then. Take this wisdom orb and let's go catch some fungi at the designated area. She gets right to the point, doesn't she? This is where you'll capture your fungi. The fungi in this area are highly compatible with the wisdom orb, and they're ideal for training and competing with. The Wisdom Orb can capture and store fungi. It also serves as a controller. I recommend giving each fungus a code name to make commanding them easier. For example, this one next to me is Pyro 1, which means Pyrofungus number 1. You just go after elements and then number them? Hmm. Seems kind of boring to Pinemon. Uh, this fungus looks pretty lively. Why don't we call it Bouncy Happy Shroom? Uh, thanks, but uh, no thanks. I've got my own way of naming them, and I'm gonna stick with it. It's simple, straightforward. It helps me with managing them. Yeah, you're probably used to calling it Pyro One anyway. All right, we'll stop. But wait until you hear the great names we come up with for our fungi. You might want to reconsider then. Something of a luxury, but I love listening to the rain from the courtyard.
Great. You've now collected all four fungi. The next step is to use the floral jelly provided by the organizers to boost your fungi's abilities. That way, they'll be able to unleash powerful skills during combat. Paimon can't believe we're making progress so quickly! It's all thanks to your help, Hania! Hmm. Alright, let's all return to the arena now! Huh? Look! Someone's staggering along with a fungus running circles around her. Uh, is she being attacked? She's collapsed! Let's go see what's happening! Pyro One, take it out! Wait, it's not an enemy. It's my shroom buddy. I'm just, just a little too tired to walk right now, but I still need to find three more shroom buddies to qualify for the tournament. You mean, you're a contestant too? I wasn't counting on running into other contestants here. Maybe... This is the end of the road for me. Twirly Whirly on its own is no match for you. Look after Twirly Whirly for me. Take him with you to the top. Hey, don't give up. It's not like we're a bunch of Aramites trying to steal your fungi. I, uh, your shroom buddies. We're better than that. You should at least hang in there until we're in the arena so we can compete against each other properly. Hania over here is a professional beast tamer, and despite knowing that we might be her fiercest competitors, she still gave us lots of help and advice! Was that supposed to be a compliment? State your name and mission! Golden Comet and Silver Companion shall gladly come to your aid! R really Then, could you please help me collect the rest of the four shroom buddies I need? Uh, does this mean my luck is finally starting to change? Um, uh, my name is Layla. I'm just a student in the Ritawa Starshan, so I don't have any impressive titles or anything. And my goal is to, uh, uh, to make it into the quarterfinals. If I can make it to the quarterfinals, I'll get to take my shroom buddies home and delegate some of my physical labor to them. Uh, uh, of course, I'll take good care of them, too. Oh, yeah! Paimon read that in the rules somewhere. All quarterfinalists get to take home any fungi of their choice. But, what do you mean physical labor? You're a student. Shouldn't you be busy with coursework and writing papers? Uh, this is pretty embarrassing, but, uh, uh, so I must have some sort of congenital sleep disorder or something. Because I can never seem to get enough sleep. And I'm always really low on energy. Even the smallest amount of exercise makes me... <sighs> well, you saw me just now. I get so tired, I collapse from exhaustion. So when I said physical labor, I just meant basic stuff like moving books around or fetching things I need from the store. Ah, uh, you don't need to be embarrassed about that. It's totally normal. Paimon delegates chores to her all the time. First she calls them buddies, then she talks about wanting to live with them. Ridiculous. She sounds just like Elhingen. Well, looks like you've mastered everything already and moved on to helping others. I'm delighted for you. I'll see you around. Good luck. Huh? Why is Hania leaving all of a sudden? We haven't thanked you or Pyro One yet, Hania! Let's at least go get something to eat together! What's wrong? That beast tamer... Is she... angry? Hmm... Probably not. She's pretty blunt and doesn't make a great first impression, but she's definitely not a bad person. Otherwise, why would she have helped us? Yeah, we'll see her again, and when we do, let's give her some gifts to show her our gratitude. In the meantime, let's follow her example by doing our best in the tournament.
tournament, helping other contestants, and making sure Layla gets to compete. Uh, thank you so much. I'll try my best to contribute, too. I don't want to be a burden to you guys. Nicely done! Now that we put together Layla's team, she should be eligible to take part! Let's head back to the arena and confirm with them! Let Paimon see how the qualifying rounds are looking. <gasps> Great! We're in a different group from Layla, so we won't have to compete against each other in the early stages of the competition! Actually, I hope I don't have to fight you guys in the later stages either. Oh? Hello there, little ones. Sure enough, you're at the center of the action once again. You two truly are like the main characters in your own light novel. M M Miko! What are you doing here? Is Paimon hallucinating? <laughs> this tournament was advertised far and wide, including all the way over in Inazuma. They even handed out flyers in front of Yai Publishing House. Don't you think a tournament like this makes a perfect candidate for light novel treatment? Yai Publishing House is working on a bestseller that, if all goes to plan, will stay a bestseller for the next 50 years. The theme is friendship and rivalry, so we decided to bring our up-and-coming author Soka here to gather some inspiration. I, of course, need to ensure my writer's manuscripts are up to par. So, I will be taking part in the tournament myself to get a little taste of what it's like. Here's my little partner in crime. Soka named it Blitzara. I think it's rather good. Very distinctive. Who knew there'd be such a big turnout? Even Miko's here! Soka, come say hi to the little ones. They're set to be some of the fiercest competition you face in the tournament. You should put them in your novel as major characters. Yes, Chief Editor! For the sake of my readership, I won't back down! I'll beat... beat you! Yeah! Just cause you're with Miku doesn't mean we'll go easy on you! Ooh, yes! More of that! Do you feel that, Soka? Declaring a challenge to your archenemy in the making before the competition begins is a key plot device that helps build dramatic tension. I, I wouldn't say I'm feeling that exactly. Just, just thinking about competing against Her Excellency's Hanamizaka tour confidant is making me so nervous. I'm losing my, my mind. Hmm. In that case, head back to the inn and capture your nervous breakdown in writing while it's still fresh. This will make excellent source material, too. She's terrifying, but she also seems really dedicated to her craft. I hope we can be friends. And who is this softly spoken little lady? She's our new friend, Layla! We met her while we were out capturing fungi. Layla's entering the tournament because she wants to take her trained fungi back home to live with her. Her goal is to make it to the quarterfinals. Training fungi? And then domesticating them? How fascinating. You must be full of secrets. There's an intriguing story to be told here, no doubt. I'm Yai Miko, a light novel editor. Purely out of personal interest, and right now what I'm most interested in is you. Nice to meet you. The pleasure is all mine. Uh, I have no idea how to respond to that. Traveler, Paimon, I really appreciate all your help. But I want to get to know my four shroom buddies a little better and prepare for the qualifiers, so I'll go do some training now. Don't put yourself too hard, Layla! You'll end up collapsing from exhaustion again! Miko? What are you doing scaring a new friend off like that? Oh, am I really so terrifying? Well then, I'll simply have to talk to her again another time to clear things up. But that can wait. Judging from your expression, it seems like you have something you want to say to me, little one. 
I'm comforted to know that you didn't lose your heads amidst the hype, and you're not just in this to have some fun. Unfortunately, though, it appears that we're about to be interrupted. Guji Yae, what an honor to finally meet you! We're so privileged that our tournament is your first destination in Sumeru. Huh? Isn't that the organizer? And that super rich businessman is here too! Goodness, I presume that the tournament is proceeding very smoothly indeed? Otherwise, how would the host and sponsor themselves have the time to spare to chat with contestants one-on-one? -on -one? How you jest, Guji Yae! Those such as your esteemed self deserve nothing short of the most lavish reception Sumeru has to offer. I see you've already had the chance to try out the Wisdom Orb. What are your thoughts on the future prospects of this technology? You know, with your blessing, it can be introduced into Inazuma, allowing you to swiftly resolve the situation of, um... Ahem. <clears throat> right now, I am nothing but an ordinary editor-in-chief. I'm here to enjoy my vacation and gather some inspiration along the way. And if I can at all help it, I'd rather not concern myself with such weighty topics as the future fate of nascent technologies. Don't be so pushy, Mr. Cautelia. Droning on about the Academia's business ambitions is hardly respectful to our honored guest, who has traveled all the way from the Land of Thunder to be here. Not to mention that Guji Yae is busy catching up with her friends. I dare say it was both unnecessary and discourteous to interrupt their conversation like this. A most pertinent remonstration coming from you, Mr. Elhingen. You do conduct yourself in such an unobtrusive manner, much as you have in your entire career, quietly amassing an enormous fortune while remaining almost entirely unknown. Why, to hear such high praise from the great Guji Yai is more prestige than I could ever hope for. Please, should you require anything at all, do not hesitate to seek my assistance. I will do everything within my ability to make your stay in Sumeru an enjoyable one. Also, to have the renowned traveler here at the tournament is an unexpected delight. I'm very much looking forward to seeing you in action. Miko, they're here to do business with you, right? Should you really be turning them away like this? Especially the rich guy? Paimon thinks working with him could have a lot of advantages for Yai Publishing House. Promoting an entirely new event throughout all of Tevat so rapidly would be an impossible feat for any ordinary businessman. I, for one, do not wish for Yai Publishing House to be the subordinate partner in a business relationship with him. Besides, the tournament has only just begun. Who knows whether it will go on to be a success. I want to focus on trying to enjoy myself, while keeping one eye open for potential liabilities. Fungi may look adorable, but they carry potent elemental energy inside their bodies. Letting one's guard down around these creatures would be an unwise move, don't you think? So it wasn't just us. Yeah. We started out with some safety concerns about this event, but the Wisdom Orb seems pretty amazing. At least all the fungi we used it on have been very well behaved, like our bongo head here. Seems we don't need to be too nervous after all. Oh, Paimon, you're just as carefree and enthusiastic as ever. Well, it's about time for me to get into character. As a contestant, I need to go and get ready for the tournament. See you in the qualifiers. But Zara, say goodbye to our friends. Coming here was a great idea! Look at us! Making new friends, bumping into Miko. Oh, this competition is shaping up to be a whole lot of fun! Come on! Let's go get some floral jelly for Bongo Head's training, like Hania suggested!
Ah, the champions to be, here at long last. Come on now, use the floral jelly and awaken your fungi's true potential. Champions to be? <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. So you've heard about us too? Of course. I was standing right next to you when you collected your wisdom orb. I couldn't find a convenient opportunity to introduce myself, as Hania was busy explaining the tournament to you. With an expert mentor like Hania, I'm sure you'll become excellent beast tamers in no time. If even the staff are singing her praises, Hania must really know what she's doing. Well, all the more reason to give it our all! Thank <laughs> you. 
start. Maybe we should spend some more time training our fun guy. Looks like the qualifiers are about to kick off. El Hingen's giving an opening speech. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nilut Palaka Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport, not a fight to the death. <laughs> I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why El Hingen is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Caltilia, on the other hand... Uh... Thank you for your speech, Mr. El Hingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, of course. Well, I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Oh, good thing El Hingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! Huh, didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast, don't blink or you'll miss it! Don't be nervous, Bongo Head. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. 
so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Nico and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Charlie Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knock the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so... I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first-round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! All right, guess it's Shroom Buddy's special training o'clock! Let's get to it! The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time, snack time! Wait a second. For training, though? Or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. 
Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send mitochondrials flying. Would you gladly comply? Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! See? You and she have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for her to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. Yeah, it takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, huh, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. That would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before! Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology! The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship! I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Paimon wants to get to know the real Bongo Head, too. Let's try deactivating our Wisdom Orb, shall we? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shroom buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzara when you're knee-deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> right, Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. Bongo Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just let us know. Paimon will probably understand you. Uh, why isn't it responding? Hmm, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Something's not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! What are you doing here? Hania? You saved the children? I happen to be nearby. 
The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Polycup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. I'm putting an end to this debacle, first chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro One! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks! You're clearly enjoying the event! I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Wait! Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Oh my, such a standout personality, and with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Nico, Layla, Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament, but after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few, and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. She takes the wrong path because in her eyes it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment, but some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature. Just like any other wild animals. The fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures! No matter what Hania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to! You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifiers should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. There are a lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizers set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow.
Paimon thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information! You can write whatever you want! That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawahiz, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorta, Darshan. Yeah! You can provide the information to Amorta students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Charge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration. But I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorta students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolley Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trolley Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Layla, that's an amazing idea! Please, get them to look into what Bongo Head likes, too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Huh? We'll be facing Sulka next! Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishy House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Today's the round of 32 for the new Akala Cup! We're up against Soka this time. We gotta give it our all and then some! Come on, let's head to the arena! Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies, but my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes... I can't allow you to beat me. Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you.
seems that the guests of Tenshukaku have powers beyond the reach of mere mortals like me. Oh no! Did we go too far? Soka's taking this pretty hard. Miko said it was fine not to hook back, but she'll definitely be mad at us when she sees her in this state. Oh, Paimon's freaking out! Okay, we should just go apologize to Miko. Come on, Bongo Head, put on your best guilty face! Miko, we're sorry! It was all Bongo Head! We didn't know it would take Soka out so quickly! Oh, did she look crestfallen and say something melodramatic like, Beyond the reach of mere mortals, then curl up on the ground and start wailing? Yes, to all of those, actually. Oh, you know it really well, huh? It's better this way. Soka will turn this experience into valuable writing material. She'll be able to portray the protagonist's journey with all the setbacks they face along the way much more compellingly. It will resonate all the more with readers. As for how to flesh out the villain, dominating, ruthless but brilliant, and ultimately victorious, the inspiration will have to come from you. So don't go getting yourselves knocked out of the competition by some second-rate wannabe, hmm? That's a conversation for another time! Oh, Miku, please ask Soka to go easy on us when she writes us into the novel! Traveler, Paimon and Miss Yai... I wrote to the Amorta students, and they were really keen. I got a reply with the information I needed within just a few hours. I've tried making a few different snacks for Twirly Whirly based on the information they gave me, but it didn't seem to like any of them. Hmm, maybe I used some of the wrong ingredients or something. So, then I made a new, improved list, and also included ingredients that might suit Bongo Head's taste. Ah, I didn't go to bed until way past midnight. So, I'm a little out of breath today. How'd you get the results so soon? That was super quick! How's it going, my little Layla? Have you been teaching your opponents a lesson? Yep. Thanks for taking us training, Miss Yai. Trilly Whirly is way more obedient now, and it reacts so quickly. I'm actually kinda envious. But the opponents have gotten stronger too, so the pressure is on. I gotta train with Trilly Whirly some more if I wanna have a shot at getting into the quarterfinals. The problem is... I'm also planning to visit the Almighty Merchant at 7 in the morning tomorrow to buy all the ingredients I need. Oh, that's no problem. I'll join you with your training session and we can leave the little ones to buy the ingredients. They're quite the experts in running errands. Oh, it sounds like you two help out Miss Yai quite often, huh? Please don't turn us into scary evil bad guys! Don't worry, little Layla. They're just apologizing to me for defeating Soka. Go buy yourself a nice drink, take a break, and catch your breath. Thanks so much! Oh, you guys are the best! This is the address where I arranged to meet up with the Almighty Merchant. And here's the list of ingredients. Ah. Oh, Thanks again. Hey, it's our pleasure! You helped us look into Bongo Head's preferences, remember? Glad we can return the favor. As for the potential liabilities we didn't have time to discuss earlier, one good place to start might be the fungi power-up materials. Why, this is the most exciting subplot of the novel, The Secret Investigation. 
I'm sure you must be curious about where the magical powers of the Wisdom Orb and Floral Jelly really come from. Besides, if we fail to uncover what's really going on in this tournament, we simply leave Hania to her own devices. Who knows what chaos might ensue? Uh, this is suddenly sounding super complicated. Paimon isn't really following. I suggest that you act just before sunrise, while most people are tired and resting. You may find some important leads. Should we really take Miko's suggestion? Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's wait until early tomorrow morning and go check out the fungi power-up place. Don't worry, Bongo Head. You're not under suspicion or anything. We just want to make sure everyone stays safe in this competition. It's time! Let's head towards the Fungi Power Up Place. It should be totally deserted. After we're done investigating, we can go buy all those ingredients from the Almighty Merchant Leela mentioned. Then we'll come back and compete in the next round. <laughs> This all looks like regular floral jelly. It's right out in the open for everyone to see, and they've even put the recipe on the table. Hmm. Well, it's not like we can just take them away and go investigate them. That'd be stealing, right? We'd probably be disqualified and might even end up getting arrested by the Corps of Dirty! Oh, but we do have a camera! How about we take some pictures of the floral jelly and its recipe? At least then we'll have a record of all the important information! these photos, but we're kind of running out of time. Uh, let's go buy Layla's stuff first. Uh, Hania? You hold yourselves to pretty high standards, coming here so early to power up your fungi. No wonder you've made it this far. Hania, we need to talk. Your plan you told us about last time, it's way too extreme. Save your breath. If you think I'm wrong, start by defeating me. Then you can show me why exactly you think your opinion is correct. <sighs> she won't listen to us at all. How did things end up like this? Paimon thought we were getting along pretty well at first. All right, fine. Come on, Bongo Head. There's no time to mope. But this is where we should be meeting the Almighty Merchant. Oh, the looks on your faces tell me you're searching for the Almighty Merchant, yes? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, how did you know? Wait, Dory? <sighs> so you're the Almighty Merchant Layla mentioned? Why so surprised? Every vendor and customer in the Grand Bazaar knows that Lord Sangama Bay possesses the widest and most magical range of goods. 
Almighty, Supreme, Omnipotent, these and many more are my exclusive epithets. Any other merchant thinking of using one can forget it. Unless they're prepared to pay millions of mora in licensing fees. Uh, guess Paimon should have known. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But back to business. I'm surprised that Layla sent you here on her behalf. I suppose she must be busy enjoying the Beast Tamer tournament, hmm? Sounds like you two get along pretty well. You know a lot about what's going on. <laughs> it has nothing to do with getting along. Layla previously bought a few things for me. They weren't the most valuable goods, but it was still a lot of mora for a student. So naturally, I now keep tabs on her activity, which is why I know that she's taking part in a very suspicious tournament. Mm-hmm. Something just didn't feel right. As it happens, I do have some goods I'm trying to get off my hands. They're a little hot for my liking, but so far no takers. They're also taking up space, so I think I'll just give them to you. Um, this is just a bunch of spare parts and random notes. I'm told this is a device and some documents that the organizer attempted to destroy. But they were careless. Some people will scavenge through anything hoping for a chance to get rich. Sure enough, someone fished these out of the water and sent them to me. Now that Paimon takes a closer look, this looks similar to the recipe for floral jelly. And these parts look like they came from a wisdom orb. Maybe they were used during the experiment phase. Let's hold on to them for now and have Miko take a look later. Maybe she'll notice if there's anything fishy about them. Yeah, seems like our worries were well placed after all. But Paimon still wants to hang out with Bongo Head. I don't know what you two are talking about, but it sounds like these items might prove useful to you. Tell you what, I'll give you a discount. A 60 million mora. Thank you for your business. Huh? Why, you sneaky little... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, no one gives a hoot about these items except for you and the Matra. We have other business to do today. Uh, consider this a little extra I'm throwing in to sweeten the deal. Show me Layla's list. I just need to know what she wants. Once I finish stocking up the goods, I'll send someone to deliver them to her so that you don't have to. That's a relief. Paimon thought all our efforts were gonna go down the drain! We couldn't afford that price even if we won the top prize! Hmm. Flour mixed with Matsutake powder, a vintage jam, Zaytun peach juice? Is this really the fungi diet? How did Layla even find that out? Paimon still feels kinda uneasy about all this. But we don't have much time. Let's continue with the competition. If Kautilia really is plotting something, we'll expose him in front of everyone during the ultimate trial. I can see you're serious about this. Good. Time to put my years of rigorous training to full use. Now. Prepare to witness the power of my all-cryo fungi team. Freeze them, Gusto Frosto! Oh, you got? Couldn't melt a snowflake with that.
My team has been defeated? Whew! That was a hard-won battle. You and your buddies put up a good fight, Bongo Head. Traveler Paimon, I saw you guys made it to the next round. Congrats. Hey, Layla. You're looking well today. And Twirly Whirly looks really happy. Guess you won your last round, too. It was a close call. I only won by a hair. Oh, I'm so glad I trained with Miss Yai beforehand. Also, the Almighty Merchant just sent someone to deliver the stuff I ordered. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go catch up on some rest with Twirly Whirly now. Hmm... My stamina's running low. Let's keep the volume down. Speaking of Miss Yai, where did Miku go? She left in a hurry with Soka. I guess they must have had something urgent to do. Also, I think they were escorted by a mercenary from the Corps of Thirty. When I returned to the arena, they were already quite a distance away. It didn't feel right to run after them and ask what they were up to. Could be. Miku has been putting a lot of time into the tournament lately, so Paimon wouldn't be surprised if she had a lot of chief editor work to catch up on. She also said that she wanted to look for inspiration while enjoying her vacation. The mercenary was probably just their tour guide. We shouldn't worry about it. The quarterfinals are coming up. To me, this is the most important round. Uh, I'm a little nervous. But let's all do our best. Yeah! Ah, we've all done really well to come this far in the tournament. Keep it up, Layla! Right! We have to stay vigilant. Okay, let's take some photos of the items we got from Dory to add to the ones we took this morning. We'll show them all to Miko when we see her next. It's time for the quarterfinals! Our opponent is definitely going to be a tough one this time! It's showtime, Bongo Head! Let's smash our way through to the semifinals! Ugh! It's you! The uncultured swine of the Nilut Pala Cup! Hey, you potty man! The way you dote on your fungi! It's pathetic! <laughs> what a joke! You make a mockery of the philosophy of the greatest beast tamer of all, the mighty Hania. Greatest beast tamer of all? Ha! <laughs> That's debatable. You keep telling yourself that. You were never gonna come close to facing Hania. Time for you to go home. Storm their front line and take them down!
be happening! I trained my fungi non-stop! Maybe I should have been harder on them! <sighs> well, we beat him. But somehow Paimon isn't really in the mood to celebrate. Traveler, Paimon, I made it through. That's amazing, Layla! You reached your goal! I heard you won against the unstoppable Hardy Two Blades, but you don't seem too happy about it. How come? It's just that... Oh, he was really mean. He said some weird things. I see what you mean. Yeah, somehow beast tamers like him make me feel a little... Uh, sad. Yeah, he clearly doesn't know anything about Hania. He's just making assumptions about what she's like based on a vague impression and even trying to copy her. I'm sure Hania would feel uneasy about it too if she knew. Also, he's so cruel to his shroom buddies when they could have been friends. Hmm. It's not just his loss either. It brings all the other contestants down. Right! You have the right mindset, Layla. If only everyone was like you, this whole tournament would feel a lot less gloomy. But it's only because I'm not aiming as high. I just want to be able to take Twirly Whirly back to live with me, that's all. Oh, looks like the next fight is you against me. Let's just try to enjoy ourselves. It doesn't matter who wins, this is just a little contest between friends. Alright, time to see who's the strongest fungi, Twirly Whirly or Bongo Head. Loser buys dinner for the winner! Whatever deal this is, you seem very happy about it. Did I miss anything big while I was gone? Miko! You're back! Finally! You stuck off without saying anything last time, so we didn't get to tell you about the evidence we... Um... Um... <laughs> Evidently, we have some things to discuss with you. Yes, well, it's been quite the ordeal for me, too. I only entered this tournament for a bit of fun, but now I've ended up in the semi-finals. I've barely had any time at all to spend with Soka and the others gathering source material for the novel. I'm sure you two will have a wonderful time in your fun and friendly match. I, on the other hand, have to take mine a little more seriously. I'm up against that stubborn young lady, after all. Yeah, who knew it'd get to this point? Miss Yai has to face off against Hania. Look on the bright side! Maybe Miko will help us defeat Hania! But that means we won't get to show Hania the error of her ways ourselves! Eh, whatever, Paimon just doesn't want to see Miko lose! I'm feeling nervous, but excited at the same time. You don't have to go easy on me. Twirly Whirly and team have weathered plenty of tough challenges already, and... They know how to put up a good fight. So you and your shroom buddies can give it your all. Well then, prepare for battle, Layla and Twirly! Hang in there, Twirly. You can still do this. Best show I've seen so 
so far, Twirly Whirly. <laughs> that was a real blast. I loved it. Thank you all. Twirly Whirly and I went out with a bang. Any other opponent and we might be feeling a little disappointed right now. But we were definitely beaten by the best. You did really well too, you know. Felt like we were one wrong move away from a very mushy bongo. Just letting the fungi do their thing and enjoying the match with no pressure to win. It was a good feeling. If only every match could be as carefree as that. Uh, meanwhile, Miko's busy duking it out with Hania. Oh, Paimon's so nervous for her. Let's go see how she's doing. Huh? It's over already? And why is the atmosphere so heavy? Uh, does this mean Miko won? Your match is over too? You took your time. I'm assuming it was a close call. You sound way too relaxed for someone who just fought in the semifinals. Bet it was a walk in the park, huh? <laughs> yes. Ours was as far from a close call as you could get. All it took was a few short, sharp strikes for Blitzara and I... ...to be beaten by Hania. Huh? What? You think this is funny? Am I a joke to you? <laughs> Far from it, Hania. I know full well how serious you are about all this from your ironclad determination to annihilate an entire species. How would I ever dare mock you? That said, if you continue down this path and find that it leads somewhere quite different from what you had hoped, what will become of that ironclad determination then? I look forward to finding out. That's... not your concern. Running away so soon? Miss Yai lost the match, but why is Hania the one who seemed upset? The situation gets more interesting with each development. Blitzara injured Pyro one soon after the match started, and Hania was clearly quite distressed. I simply pointed out that she's still deceiving herself, and her defenses began breaking down. She's more fragile than I'd imagined. You mean, Hania isn't as heartless as she tries to make herself out to be? So she does care about Pyro 1, but she didn't mean to show it in front of you! Right answer. Now's our chance to get through to her. You, my little friends, are the only ones who can get her back onto the right path. But Hania's long gone now! Where should we look for her? Well, right now, I'm sure she must be wondering what it is that has made her suddenly start doubting herself after all this time. The answer lies with the three of you. I'm sure you all know where she's gone to. The place where I first met the Traveler in Paimon? Good point! It was when Layla mentioned her plan to bring her shroom buddies back home with her that Hania's mood suddenly changed. Layla, it seems like you're onto something! Let's catch up with Hania and set things straight! You should stay here, little Layla. I understand that you want to help Hania, but she's not the kind of person you're good at dealing with. Leave it to them this time. That's true. And if I said something that struck a nerve again, I'd only make things worse. Plus, you guys move pretty fast. Uh, if I tag along, I'd probably need to stop and gather my strength every ten minutes. Well... What are you waiting for, little one? Oh, my, you've been busier than I thought. In return, I give you a blessing from me. Good luck. I'll share my thoughts the next time we meet. Honey, I should be around 
here somewhere. Hyra One follows her everywhere. We should be able to track her down through its elemental traces. Search the area with elemental sight. you find me here? We follow Pyro One's tracks. We're a little worried about you. Wait a second. Are you comforting Pyro One? The irony, I know. And I'd probably be enjoying it if Pyro One were any other animal than a fungi. The next time we meet will be in the finals. Whatever you have to say, save it for if you beat me. The fox lady said you might say that. You're pure of heart, kind, and believe the best in things. You wouldn't understand if I tried to explain. So, here. Read this. Uh, what is it? These are my ancestors' records. They were attacked by a horde of fungi in the rainforest. Many people were seriously injured. There was nothing exceptional about this incident at the time, and it certainly never made it into any official records. But my family have been reading it to me since I was a child, constantly warning me of the grave threat that fungi posed to us. So... that's what happened? Yeah! And anyway... Doesn't your family's experience make this tournament all the more meaningful? The Wisdom Orb finally means that humans and fungi can live in peace together! It's not as simple as turning bad fungi into nice fungi with the Wisdom Orb. Plenty of scholars have experimented with similar things in my village in the past. But every one of them failed, gave up, and moved on. Even this new Wisdom Orb can only suppress the fungi's aggressive nature temporarily. Without this device, they're still extremely dangerous creatures. On top of that, the orb's intellectual boost makes the fungi unnaturally strong. Too much elemental energy in one place is not a good idea, especially for people in poor shape already. If you've got a sensitive constitution and you start using a wisdom orb, you're gonna start experiencing symptoms pretty quickly. Wait, Lila's been coughing a lot lately. Could that be because of the wisdom orb? As you'll be well aware by now, all Caltilia cares about is his precious research. He just wants to expand his influence and increase the profile of the Beast Tamer event. Meanwhile, Al Hingen's taking advantage of the situation. Impressed by Caltilia's research, he invested a huge sum into promoting the tournament, consequently lowering everyone's guard against the fungi. I don't trust either of them, period. I don't believe highly aggressive creatures like the fungi can coexist with humans. But I'm just another retired mercenary, so who's gonna listen to me? All I can do is play by their rules until victory is mine. Then I'll fight for the outcome I'm hoping for, and keep them from getting their way. I initially had a sliver of hope that you might help me in my endeavors. Guess that was pretty naive of me. But it doesn't matter what you think about all this, or what you think of me. I'm going to beat you, and then there will be nothing you can do to stop me. This notebook is just a relic from my past now. Do whatever you want with it. Because come the day of the final, I'm going to declare the execution of all fungi. Including Pyro One. It's time to say goodbye to the past. That didn't go as planned. Well, there's only one option left. We gotta defeat Hania in the final match! Did Ahania mention something about other researchers in the past trying to stop the damage caused by fungi too? There should be more information in this notebook. Let's take a look! These look like... 
research notes. Guess Hania's ancestors kept them after the scholars left. Whew. This section looks super complicated. The handwriting is really bad, and there are too many technical terms. Paimon can't make heads or tails of this. Wait. Some of these look familiar, though. Oh, that's right. We saw them on the documents Dory gave us. Alright, let's put them side by side, go through carefully, and try to figure out what's written in these notes. A capturing device and a withering potion? So that's how it went down. The fungi only attacked Hania's ancestors because of what that potion did to them. And then the researchers built that device to try and capture the angry fungi! Also, if floral jelly is just an improved version of the withering potion, and the wisdom orb isn't Kautilia's invention either, he's basically giving someone else's invention a new name and passing them off as his own! He's a big fat liar! Why is Kautilia so eager to get people to use the wisdom orb anyway? We gotta warn El Hingen. He needs to stop bankrolling Kaltilia right away! As for Hania, she has no idea that the fungi only attacked her ancestors because they were under the potion's influence. No wonder she holds it against them. Bongo Head, Paimon knows you're not gonna turn evil because of some floral jelly. You stayed a very good fungus even after we turned off the Wisdom Orb. Whoa! You can understand what Paimon's saying? Oh wow, you're getting smarter! Huh? Since when? Oh, Paimon didn't even notice. <gasps> Does that mean... Bongo Head is hanging out with us by choice right now? See? See? Hania was wrong after all. The fungi aren't gonna lose control this time. Some fungi understand people and just want to get along. Like Bongo Head here. Oh, Hania did make one good point, though. The Wisdom Orb has its limits. As long as that's the case, fungi won't be able to live with humans forever. I was really hoping Bongo Head could join us for the rest of our journey. Isn't there a way? Yeah, it's a shame, but it seems like there's no other choice. Hmm. We still have some time before the final. Should we report Kautilia to the Academia? True. For him to have made it this far, he must have been planning for a long time. If he caught wind of our plans to expose him, he'd definitely be wary of us. Whatever else happens, we have to give it our all on the day of the final. Let's beat Hania and knock some sense into her. Then, we should get El Hinge to help us expose Kautilia for the fraud he is! Ladies and gentlemen, after some fierce competition in the round so far, we arrive at long last at the final of the Nilut Pala Cup. It's time to find out who is the very best beast tamer of all. Honia or the Traveler? If the winner of the final round makes it through the ultimate trial, they will acquire my entire fortune. It will then be their responsibility to continue hosting this tournament into the future and to promote the philosophy of peaceful coexistence throughout all of Tivat. Huh. Kautilia isn't here today. Oh, this is our chance. After the final match and the ultimate trial, we'll go tip off El Hingen and confront Kautilia head on! Nico, Layla, you're here! Much as I expected. The insufferable research maniac has exposed his true colors to our two protagonists. You seem to be edging ever closer to the truth. 
Holding off on reporting Cautilia to the Academia seems like a sensibly cautious decision at this stage. Who's to say if Cautilia, or indeed anyone else for that matter, is really who they appear to be? Yeah, I can't afford to let our guards down now. We gotta fight Hania first, the strongest beast teamer out there. And we still have no idea what we're in for with El Hingen's ultimate trial. Oh, how are we gonna get through to Hania though? The answer should be quite obvious by now, surely. Take all of our fungi and defeat her fair and square. Force her to let go of her stubborn attitude and listen to the truth. I believe in you guys. I know you'll be able to get her to come around. Ah, yeah! Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly of Pixara! The tightest power trio in all of Shroomdom! With your powers combined, winning this final will be easier than taking a radish from a hilly churl! The day has finally arrived, Traveler and Paimon. I warned you not to get emotionally attached to the fungi. You have to treat them as your pawns. But it seems like you haven't changed one bit. In which case, this match will be a short one. Yeah! When we send Bongo Head and Bunnies into action, it's like clockwork! And we ain't about to stop ticking! <sighs> Time to show you how a real beast tamer fights. Your feeble strategy will be your undoing. Go, Pyro One! One, why did you hold back? Don't blame Pyro One, Hania. And don't force yourself to do something you don't want to. You started having second thoughts when Pyro One got injured during the semifinals, didn't you? You never met a well-matched opponent until you fought Miko and now us, had you? So you never had to put Pyro One or any of your other fungi in danger before. When you saw one of your fungi get injured for the first time, you realized you felt compassion for it. Compassion? You really think I feel anything for these fungi? Hania, you grew up listening to terrible tales about the horrors of fungi. Paimon completely understands how they made you feel. But that doesn't mean that you should just treat a buddy who stands by you here as your arch enemy. You won't be able to lie to yourself forever. We fight off fierce fungi all the time, and we always used to think of them as monsters, too. The whole reason we entered this tournament is because we didn't want fungi causing any trouble. But after meeting Bongo Head, we realized that if we just give them some time and treat them well, the gentler fungi will get to know you and treat you like their friends. At the very least, treat fungi like they're on your side, not as your pawns and certainly not as your enemies. Please, learn to trust Pyro One and your other fungi friends. Enough! Don't patronize me. In case you've forgotten, this match isn't over yet. Pyro One, release the explosion! Give it your all, Pyro One! Show them what you're truly made of!
just before the most important step of all, I failed. You two, you were the only ones who could stop me. But how, when your mindset is so childish? Hania, as we agreed, you have to hear us out now that we've won. But let's put that aside for now. Can we bring Pyro 1 along for the ultimate trial? Pyro 1? You want to take it with you? Yep. We want to pass the ultimate trial with everyone's fungi side by side. Bongo Head, Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, and Pyro 1. We looked through your notebook that day after we spoke to you, and it cleared up a lot of things. You're right to be concerned about the dangers of fungi, up to a point. Wisdom orbs come with health risks to some people. This tournament shouldn't have been promoted so widely, and there are limits to how closely fungi and humans can coexist in general. However, by making constant improvements to the Wisdom Orb and using it for friendly communication with the fungi, we can figure out which are the nice ones and gradually learn more about them. Fine, if that's what you want. I lost, so I don't get to call the shots. And I guess Pyro One would rather be with someone who actually cares about it. Cheer up, Hania. Paimon sure you mean a lot to Pyro One. Uh, we have more important stuff we gotta tell you after the ultimate trial. That's right! You'll see things differently after you know the story. Paimon just knows it! I just had to say, what a magnificent duel. A battle between competing philosophies as well as a showdown between two top beast tamers. Elhingen? What are you doing in the arena? Why, I'm here to witness the final duel and the winner's spectacular performance in the ultimate trial. How could I possibly miss such a milestone moment in this tournament's history? Come now, traveler. Paimon, it's time to prove yourselves. I have no doubt that you'll play a significant role in bringing this tournament to a whole new level. What's going on here? Why are the Fatui everywhere? Oh, Hingen, the arena's been taken over by bad guys! We'll deal with them! Get yourself to safety! Uh, wait a second. Where is the exit? The Traveler is correct. <laughs> Nothing gets past you, does it? In which case, I presume you planned for this eventuality, no? Wait, this is all wrong! Isn't this the ultimate trial? Kaltuli is supposed to be the villain! He was just using this tournament for his own agenda and he tricked you into sponsoring him! Hmm... not far off. You're right about Kaltuli's motivations. This started when he discovered a promising use for a forgotten technology. So I bought his loyalty and organized this tournament to expand the reach of his technology. Though I must say... I never expected a prize catch like yourself to take the bait so eagerly. So, you weren't being fooled by Cautilia. It was you using him! This whole time you were just another lousy Fatui! Oh, now Paimon's mad! So much for warning you about Cautilia! Finally, get him! Oh, look at you! <laughs> I've got chills down my spine. But I'm afraid that's not happening. Twirly Whirly, Blitzara, Pyro Wing! What's going on? Cautilia added a handy little back door in the Wisdom Orbs. As soon as I send the command, all fungi under their control report to me instead. So, this whole tournament, it was just an elaborate ploy to get other people to capture fungi for you! And now you're gonna make them all into your evil minions! Very impressive. <laughs> you hit all the key notes there. I hold the tournament a few times, build up an army of fungi living amongst the people, and then I can create all kinds of damage. 
You have to understand, this is a huge opportunity for me. My accomplishments will eclipse those of my other comrades. And then, my dear Master Dottore, left because of you, will finally realize that I can still be worth something to him. But now, I think I might go one step further. Getting rid of you would be doing a major service for all the Fatui, from the foot soldiers to the harbingers. <laughs> this could be a career-making moment for me. I'll finally earn Master Dottore's respect. I'll just say it was a, a tragic accident. You placed too much trust in the fungi, tried to push past the limits, and ended up causing the whole arena to collapse with you still inside. Once this domain sealed off, no one will ever find you. I'll have Cautilia assume all liability and criminal charges, then inform the Academia. After that, I'll invest even more into this tournament in the name of honoring your memory. I'll promote it harder. The competitions will be bigger and more frequent. Take your time! Pit fungi against fungi, and warriors against warriors! I want the Traveler to see her buddy being destroyed. Then, once her faith is utterly shattered, put her out of her misery, quickly and painlessly. I accept that our actions thus far have not been uh, beyond reproach. But at least we can give the Traveler the ceremonious final farewell that they deserve. This isn't right. I've activated the backdoor command three times now on the floating hydrofungus. Why is it still obeying the Traveler? Is Cautilia's device malfunctioning? Oh dear, the poor thing still hasn't realized. The technology in the Wisdom Orb does make fungi more obedient to their beast tamers, but all it does to achieve this is suppress some of their basic instincts, allowing them to communicate with their owner as effectively as any other animal. The trust that these four fungi place in their beast tamers, and the bond they now share, have grown stronger than the Wisdom Orb. Yai, Miko! Y you broke the domain ceiling spell? <laughs> Please! You thought your crude replicas could keep me out? You appear to have woefully underestimated who you're dealing with. Not to mention that shoddily designed backdoor command. Did you honestly believe that no one would notice the litany of vulnerabilities in your grand plan? Curses! Miko, Leila, and Hania too! Oh, hang in. So this was all you're doing? Whatever threat the fungi might pose, your nefarious ambitions are the true menace here! Come on, Miss Yai. Uh, let's go help them. Easy now, Layla. All that's left for us to do now is to watch and wait. The bond of companionship is not something so easily severed by the designs or devices of humans. Blitzara, you haven't completed your mission yet. You're not thinking of giving up now, are you? Huh? Look! Blitzara's back to normal! Is this the moment Miss Yai said we were waiting for? Twirly Whirly, I believe in you! Take
take this crook down. <laughs> The backdoor command is wearing off! They're all returning to normal! Still doubting what your heart tells you, Hania? You're afraid. Afraid to accept that the fungus you treated as a pawn now trusts you completely. Because then you'll be forced to face your true feelings, which you have been trying so desperately to escape from. But don't keep your fungus waiting much longer. Look! Now that it's no longer under the Wisdom Orb's control, it's waiting for your orders. Pyro One, are you really waiting for me? I'm sorry. I've been so harsh on you, but you still trust me. Go. Do what you have to do. Well, one way or another, it looks like all the fungi have returned to their senses! Great! Shame on you, Elhingen! You're about to pay for what you've done! Hold the line! And keep your heads! They're just a handful of fungi! We still have the upper hand! Let's go not going anywhere! Shouldn't get careless! tourist. As far as I'm aware, I don't have the authority to detain anybody within Sumeru's borders. Is that not the case for you, too? Still, you needn't worry. He won't escape. You'll see once you get back to the tournament arena. Ah, oh, cryptic. Well, no time to figure that one out. On with the chase! You're from the Core of Thirty! By order of the General Mahamatra, we're here to arrest Elhingen for grave crimes and Kautilia for academic misconduct. The General Mahamatra has been watching Kautilia closely for some time. He's busy dealing with other affairs today, so he couldn't find the time to apprehend the offenders himself. Thankfully, with all the evidence you gathered, we were able to swiftly bring this case to a conclusion. <sighs> The General Mahamatra wrote a letter for the two of you. Please, take a look. Keeping an eye 
people must have been secretly investigating at the same time we were! Lucky we had some backup! All right, we'll take the suspects away now. The area will be unattended while we're gone, but with you here, I can put my mind at ease. You might think this is over, but mark my words! You haven't seen the last of me! Oh, Master Dottore! Oh, quit while you're behind, loser! Have fun in prison, you fatui lowlife! Wait, Sino mentioned that he used our evidence, so... Is that where Mika was going after the last 16? To hand it in and make a report? Oh, please, spare me that look. I didn't sign up for any of this. I'm supposed to be having a nice vacation, but all sorts of vexing issues keep managing to find their way to me. After the round of 16, I simply took a walk around Sumeru City with my editors. I did have a very brief conversation with the General Mahamatra, but only because he happened to be passing by at the time. The evidence you gathered was the key to solving this case. Ah! <sighs> The more you try playing it down, the more confusing it all sounds. Um, anyway, now that the organizer and the sponsor have both been arrested, what should we do about the fungi in this tournament? The rules still stand. These little ones won the tournament and passed the ultimate trial, which means they'll be taking Elhingen and Kautilia's place. From now on, everything about this tournament will be up to these two to decide. And after all the experience they've gained, I'm sure they are more than up to the task. Lady Kitsune told me everything. The fungi that attacked my ancestors were out of control because they'd gone berserk. Everything I thought I knew about the fungi was based on a misunderstanding. I took it all much too far. If by that you mean, thank you, Miko, then you're welcome. Hania needed a little pep talk to perk her up so that she would join us in taking a stand against Elhingen. How else was I supposed to motivate her? You don't have to say anymore. I was too close-minded. I know that now. I kept telling myself the same things, lying to myself until I became numb. But now I've seen the truth with my own eyes. Even without the Wisdom Orb, Pyro One willingly followed my instruction. It trusted me all along. I hold my hands up. I was wrong. You're well within your rights to criticize me. And I accept whatever punishment you deem appropriate. Punishment? What do you take us for? Sure you said some pretty scary things, and you were way too strict with Pyro One, but clearly you've already learned your lesson. Wait. Actually, having said that, Paimon has an idea! Alright, Paimon's got it! Let's go tell everyone else what we came up with! Paimon's first time speaking to so many people from a stage like this. Oh, Paimon's getting butterflies. Paimon and the Traveler are super happy that we were lucky enough to win this tournament and even expose a criminal conspiracy while we were at it. The responsibility for continuing to hold this tournament in the future now lies in our hands. Now, they may have thrown the organizer and the sponsor in jail, but you can all breathe a huge sigh relief because the prizes are still being issued as promised yes that's what i'm talking about woo -woo! that's a good call however unfortunately the wisdom orbs currently have a harmful effect on their surrounding environment so they pose a risk to people's health this means that we won't be able to keep our fungi friends around for the long term so, for the sake of everyone's well-being, over the coming days, we recommend that everyone entrust their fungi into the care of the best darn beast tamer in town, Hania! But 
but you won't be away from them for too long. While Hania takes care of your fungi, we'll be talking to the Academia with the goal of trying to resolve the current issues with the Wisdom Orb as soon as possible. And of course, this tournament was so much fun. It'd be a real shame if it was a one-off affair. I'm unsure you've got a big appetite for more fungi fun and games. So once the technical issues are all sorted out and we're all reunited with our fungi friends, let's battle it out all over again! Oh, so that's my punishment. Think of it more as a reward for being the runner-up. Don't think of it that way, Miss Hania. Spending time with shroom buddies is actually really fun. Right, Twirly Whirly? I'm gonna miss you, Twirly Whirly. Take good care of my best shroom buddy. Oh. Traveler. Paimon. <laughs> Layla. And Lady Kitsune. What can I say? You're a fascinating bunch. decision with everyone watching. You better look alive! <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I get it. As a beast tamer, I accept your proposal. I will do my utmost to care for these fungi and treat them like the treasured companions that they are to their masters. <laughs> now those sound like the words of an awesome person called Hania that Paima wants to be friends with! Just wish she'd shown us this, Hania, sooner. Anyway, let's spend some final quality time with our shroom buddies. Then we'll all meet up in Port Ormos. Traveler, Bongo Head, it's time for us to meet up with everyone in Port Ormos. Let's go see Layla first, then Miko, and finally, go give our fungi over to Hania. Helping me carry my luggage, we could go camping really far away, and I got to see the stars from a different perspective. Oh, I even managed to make some progress with my paper. Uh, although, I've tried making almost everything on my food list now. Every time I used to flower or something, it got in the air and gave me a coughing fit. <coughs> but after all that, I still haven't figured out what Twirly Whirly likes. It would be great if the improved Wisdom Warp allowed us to communicate directly with the fungi. Oh, oh, oh! I should mention that in my letter and get someone to ask a Senior Immorta Scholar. Paimon's never seen you in such good spirits, Layla. You spoke a lot more than usual just now, and you're still full of life. You really go the extra mile for your shroom buddies. Uh, uh, I think I might have overexerted myself, though. I'm flagging hard. Uh, let's go see Miss Yai before I crash. Uh. Earlier than I expected. Miko, you're not leaving, are you? It feels like you never got to properly enjoy your vacation here. Oh, my needs for amusement have been more than met. Thanks to your help, our little inspiration hunt went perfectly. 
Not only did we gain invaluable experience in the tournament, we also had all the excitement of exposing a criminal conspiracy. Yes, I think I might ask Soka to ditch her original characters and just make you the protagonists in her next novel. True. It all makes sense now. You dropped so many hints, but it went over Paimon's head at the time. Why didn't you expose El Hingen right away, though? Why wait for things to escalate like they did? Going for the big reveal right at the beginning would have been an anti-climax of the most literal kind. I wanted to see how you'd react in a situation like this, and you did not disappoint. I thought that the story between you and the fungi would follow a master-servant paradigm, but you offered something even better. Companionship, based on mutual understanding. From a certain point of view, it seems fitting that Elhingen, the one person who could barely keep the word master from his lips, met his downfall at your hand. Of course, considering what he's capable of, I'm sure he'll have his ways of continuing to put up a fight. Paimon's getting confused again. In the future, we should take notes when Miko's talking and carefully look over them later. Oh, that's enough chatting for now. I'll leave Blitzara in your hands. Remember to take good care of it. I hope you really give this a good shot, you and Hania. The future of this highly entertaining tournament depends on the decisions you make from now on. I'm excited to see what you've got in store for us. Hello, all. Right on time. I've collected all the other contestants' wisdom orbs and found a suitable place for our fungi friends to live. I'll make absolutely sure the surrounding environment is not affected. Say hello to everyone, Kindlejoy. That's Pyro One's new name. When I saw how well behaved it was when we first met, a sense of joy welled up inside me. If I just let go of my preconceived notions about fungi and allowed myself to truly feel that moment, maybe I could have felt like that all this time. I'm so glad Hania has finally worked things out. <laughs> yeah! Even though Paimon has gotten used to the name Pyro One at this point, the new name holds so much more significance! I will commit to giving these gentle creatures the highest standard of care I can provide. Please, rest assured that your fungi friends will be safe with me. I guess it's... time for us to say goodbye. Go on, Twirly Whirly. Be a good fungus now, and do everything that Hania says. But Zara, Mika will be back to visit when the next Beast Tamers tournament comes around. High five, Bongo Head! It was really fun having you around. Paimon hopes that you have a good time at Hania's, and is really looking forward to seeing you again next time. I hope that the day when humans and fungi can live in harmony will come quickly. I believe in you all. You'll make it happen. I look forward to the good news. <laughs> <laughs>